In this exercise, we will show you how to use another powerful function of our postcode devices, the analog signal generator or function generator. You can use the function generator for many useful tasks in electronic development and repair. For instance, you can use it as an input for audio devices and measure output signal to find out if the amplifier works the way you expect it. For this exercise, we connected two probes to the Postcope Mega One Plus device. First one is connected to the analog generator output and the second one is connected to the channel A oscilloscope input. Connect the probe tips and the probe grounds and you are ready to go. To view the signals coming from signal generator, open the oscilloscope display. We can see the waveform jumping up and down. Let's tune it up a little. Open the Mega One controls and adjust the volts per division on channel A. Switch to AC and 12-bit resolution. Turn the channel B off and adjust the sampling frequency so you can see the waveform travel over the oscilloscope display. Now go to Access and adjust the time base slider. The displayed sample count changes so we can see larger amount of samples. Deck mode is set to analog, which is OK, so just leave it there. The right section of Mega One controls belongs to the analog signal generator. Here you can set the signal form. You can select among sine, square, triangle and saw waveform. Let's see the square signal. Here we can do a little comparison between the 12-bit and 8-bit resolution. At 8-bit resolution, the waveforms appears to be clearer. At 12-bit resolution, we can see that signal appears to be more fuzzy, simply because of the higher bitrate, which improves the quality of the measurement. Now let's see the triangle. and the saw. Now let's switch back to the basic sign. At 400 mV per division, we can see that the signal generator voltage amplitude reaches 1.6 times 2 equals a bit over 3.2 volts peak to peak, which can also be checked by cursors C1 and C2. The signal amplitude can be set in percentage varying from 0% to 100% in step-by-step -step of 10%. Let's make it a 50%. Let's find the limits of signal frequency. If we type 5, it automatically goes to 10 Hz. That's the lowest limit. Highest limit goes to 12,500 Hz or 12.5 kHz. If we type in number larger than that, it automatically sets to 12.5 kHz. Here is also a handy start-stop button, so we don't have to unplug the device or use a physical switch when we need to stop the signal generating. 
In this tutorial, you have learned how to use the analog signal generator, a powerful modular function of our Poscope Mega One Plus oscilloscope. Thanks for watching.